Hey everybody, it's Taco Cow, and welcome back to Dying the Dead. In this video, we're going to be rehydrating our specimens. We're going to be putting them through a series of baths, so it's going to take about four days. Our cartilage staining actually dehydrated all of our tissues, and it lowered the pH in our specimen. So rehydration is absolutely necessary. You need this in order to raise the pH to something more neutral or basic, and we also need it to prepare the tissues of our specimen for the trypsin digestion. So let's start going over the things that we need. First, you're going to need your specimens and your cartilage stain. You're going to need four separate jars or containers. Your 95% ethanol, distilled water, your tweezers, your goggles, some more gloves, and your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. All right, so let's get started. Amongst our four jars, I have two lids that look similar to each other and two lids that are completely different. The reason for this is because amongst our four solutions, solution one and solution two will be the exact same thing. It's when we get to solution number three and four is when they change. Your specimens will need to be left in each of the solutions for a minimum of two hours. I'm going to be on the safe side and leave them in each of the solutions for a day. So it'll take me about four days to complete the entire process of rehydration. So here we have our four jars. In solution one, we are just going to be putting 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. In solution two, we are just going to be putting 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. In solution three, we are going to be making a 70% mixture of ethanol using 70 milliliters of 95% ethanol and 30 milliliters of distilled water. And in solution four, we are just going to be putting 100 milliliters of distilled water. So let's get started on preparing our solutions. We have solution one, which has 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. Solution two, which also has 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. Solution three, which has 100 milliliters of a 70% ethanol mixture. And solution four, which just has 100 milliliters of distilled water. Make sure you grab your labels and a pen so we can label each of our four jars, bath one, bath two, bath three, bath four, and also label what's inside of them. We're not going to date them until we put our specimen in each of the solutions. So now that we have all of our solutions prepared, we're going to be transferring our specimens from our Alcyon Blue or our cartilage stain into bath number one, which contains 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. As you can see, here are our mice floating around in our cartilage stain or the Alcyon Blue solution that we made. We're going to be taking them out. I will be doing some close-ups of the mice to kind of show you what they look like now after the cartilage stain because they do look awesome. And then we will be transferring them to bath number one or solution one for one day. So here are what the mice look like after the cartilage stain.
95% ethanol solution and they are going to be sitting there for about a day and then we will be transferring them to the next solution. The next day. This is day two. I'm just going to be transferring the specimens from bath one into bath number two which contains 95% ethanol. Twenty-four hours later. Day three. We're going to be transferring our specimens from bath number two into bath number three, which contains a seventy percent ethanol solution. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later. Day four. We are just going to be transferring our specimens from bath three into our last bath, bath number four, which is just distilled water. This is going to help us remove some of the excess ethyl alcohol from our specimens. So here's what our mice look like as of right now. The mice are actually a little bit floaty. I didn't expect that, so that's kind of neat. We're just going to be leaving the mice in bath number four for 24 hours like we have the last three baths. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I've been doing, please leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to read the description down below and check out the links and things in there because there's a lot of stuff that I really didn't get to put in the video. Join me next time where we're going to be starting the trypsin digestion. We will be using trypsin, a digestive enzyme, to digest all of the muscles and tissues of our specimens. See you guys next time. Bye!